about to do? <laughs> We're gonna drive through some water. But it's super, so it's fine. Okay. That guy would tow us out if we need some help. Wasn't so bad. No, wasn't, so bad. <laughs> wasn't so bad. So today we're heading off to do a new hike. One that I've done before, but that Dylan hasn't. It's called the Jug. It's located south. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, it's like, we didn't quite make it to Payson. No, but I think Payson's close to here. Payson is like north east of the valley in Arizona. Okay, I'll have to add a, add a little map. Right yeah. here. It's right there. It's yeah. right here, the map. <laughs> um, I actually did this hike when I was 14, I think, but I was with my dad and my little brother. So this is the first time going by myself or with someone new. What I'm really nervous about is at the end of the hike, to finish the hike, you have to do a cliff jump into a small pool of water. And I'm afraid of heights, but I practiced on Tuesday. We went on another hike and I did some cliff jumping there to, to prep myself. So it's gonna be okay. I have to do it. To finish the hike, I have to do the jump. Even if there's no, even if there is repel gear. Even if you have two options, you either repel into the, you repel, it's like a canyoneering hike technically, but you can repel into the lake or into the little pool or jump. And last time I was too scared and there was actually some people there at the same time as us finishing the hike and they had repel gear. So I was able to cop out and borrow their repel gear. But to be fair, I was 14, so that, that jump is a lot scarier. It's supposed to be a 25 to 30 foot jump. I'm not nervous at all. But even if there's repel gear today, you're not using the repel gear, yes. you're jumping. <laughs> even if there's repel gear today, I'm gonna jump. Because I practiced. Yes, because you practiced. But I kinda, I kinda wanna jump first. You wanna jump first? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cause I don't want to have to look at you down there and be like, am I ever going to join him? Yeah. Dude, it's going to be so cold. Yeah. But the, re the rest of the hike is really cool. You're basically swimming through canyons. I think it starts with like, it starts with a small walk to the canyoneering, but we're both wearing our swimsuits. We're ready to get wet and do some hiking slash swimming slash canyoneering. <laughs> Canyoneering. Canyoneering. I've never heard of the, this, this verb. Canyoneering, it's a thing. This verb is new to me. It's a thing though. I think it's it's similar to rock, rock climbing, right? I have no idea. <laughs> this is out here. It's far. We're in the middle of nowhere. And we're not even close to the trailhead yet. Yeah, we are. 25 minutes. 25 more minutes. See what happens. <laughs> We're just gonna look at you guys. Oh, hey, look at Hi! Hi! This camera zooms really slow. <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> you guys are kinda cute. They're okay. Cuties. We're gonna leave you alone See now. You. Sorry for bothering you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your morning. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> We're finally arriving at the parking lot. It's so dirty. Water. 
good. It's cold. I can hurt you like you hurt me too. Me too. We're letting go, go with it. We're letting go, go with it. Let's keep it. What's in it then? I can hurt you like you hurt me. You're closer to your face. <laughs> the swimming portion is my favorite. <laughs> I'm about 5'10, 5'11, and I, I'm like struggling to struggling to touch, so it's pretty deep back here, but it's freaking gorgeous. guy right before and he really helped us out otherwise we would have been jumping from the completely wrong spot so I was really lucky that he was there for a second I thought that he was gonna offer us his like offer to help us with the rappel gear and I'm actually really happy that he didn't because I think I would have taken the cop out really fast but 
I think that just jumping was better for me. Just get the height over with. <laughs> Dylan slipped off the mountain. I slipped a little bit, but I got my footing at the last second and was able to like push off from there, but I did yeah. fly until that push off point. Yeah, he was also holding was a little sketchy. He was also holding the camera and I think when you have one hand busy it makes it <laughs> a little harder. <laughs> Alright, so it should be smooth sailing from here. We will see you back in the car. <laughs> we made it. I'm not gonna lie though, the last part was a bit rough. I don't know the way you put it. I didn't know that I was gonna hike camelback after this. It wasn't as hard as camelback at all, but I mean you hike another two miles after you after you've already been in the sun all day. Yeah. Being in the water does surprisingly drain you. Yeah. And dehydrate you more than you think, which also makes that little trek up a bit mentally challenging. Yeah. I mean, it, it honestly, it's not that hard. It's just, at, I think after the jump, I was just done. Yeah. But the, yeah, the jump was fun. The jump was fun. I actually would like would do it again. Want to do it again? I want to do it again. Wish I could have done it. Could, wish I could have gone back up and just done it again. I know, it's not something that you can go back up and just re jump. But, anyways, overall, we loved the hike and we'll probably go again. Hope you enjoy it and 